It's a new year, and if you're a photographer, that means it's time to update your copyright metadata in Lightroom. I'm going to show you how to create a copyright preset in Lightroom, and at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you the three essential elements that must be included in all your copyright notices on your photos and how to automate that in Lightroom. To start, we are going to go into the library module in Lightroom, and we're going to click on the metadata panel. Within the panel, the default is just fine because it's going to bring up our preset right here. Now, when you click on this, I already have presets, but if you have none, and even if you do have some, what you're going to do is go all the way down to edit presets. The dialog box is going to appear. And within here, this is how we edit all of our copyright information. Now pay attention to the blue check boxes here. If you fill in information, but you leave the checkbox off, it does not matter that the information is in there. Lightroom's not going to record that. You need the blue checkbox to record any of the information that you put in these cells. Now on the left, you can click this and all of the check marks, it'll auto fill them in for you. I apply this metadata preset to all my images. So everything has a copyright notice embedded into the image file itself. The three most important elements that you should have in a copyright notice is either the copyright symbol or the word copyright in there. You need to have the name of the owner, whether it is the creator name or your business name. And I like to include my website and email. That way there's no excuse on how to contact me. And the other important piece of information is the year of first publication. So all three of those elements are really important when you copyright images. Again, it is the copyright symbol or the word copyright, the name of the copyright owner, and the first year of publication. So if you happen to take the photo but not publish it for years later, this might be a little bit, you can use a different method. But for most of us, I think we take the image and publish in the first year. So that is the reason why I think it's important to always have the year within here so there is no question. So what I did is all I do is change that update setting. And you're going to go back up here to the preset panel and you're going to hit save current setting as new preset. I click there and I have already copied it to be 2023 and you hit create. So now I'm going to hit done. And if I go back over here to my metadata and click on that, I will see that I have the 2023 preset for my copyright notice on that image. And I can apply this preset to all of the photos I take in this year. But what's even more important is to automate this. So upon import, anytime I import images into Lightroom, this setting is already there. So I'm going to set it and forget it until December when I have to reset it for the next year. But you get what I mean. To do that, we are again in the library module, go to the import dialog box. We bring that up. Now, whether you're copying as a DNG, copy, move, or add your photos, no matter what you do, you will have this apply during input panel come up. Here is where your metadata preset can go. So you just click on this, we've already made it, or you can make your preset from the import dialog box. And I wanna have 2023. Now Lightroom will remember the last settings, but what I like to do is go one step further. When I set all of this information within my Lightroom, because typically I will set whether or not I want it to build smart previews. I always don't want it to have import suspected duplicates. All of this is important to me that it remains consistent. So in order to do that, just in case I do something off, this little strip down here says import presets. Again, I'll click on this, scroll down and hit save current settings as new preset. And I can say 2023 import preset. So to me, I'll create that. And even if I check all of these things and make things different, anytime I want to make sure and check my settings, I can just go back down to this import preset, hit 2023, and Lightroom will check and make sure that everything is to exactly like I need. Now you have the three essential elements to apply a copyright notice to your photos and you know how to have it automated to all of your images that you import in Lightroom. I hope you found this helpful and cheers to a happy Lightroom experience.